faith speaks the outcome. Mark chapter 11 verses 22 and 23. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly I say to you, Whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. The Lord Jesus in Mark chapter 11 was uh, giving a faith lesson to his disciples. He had just demonstrated what words of faith can do, that natural things, things in our natural world respond to words of faith. He had just cursed a fig tree and the fig tree had withered up from its roots and and his disciples were amazed, startled when they came by the next day and they saw the tree withered off. And so at this teachable moment, if you will, Jesus is then giving them important insights on how to have faith in God and how to exercise faith in God. Now that's what we've been considering this week. We've been talking about the seven steps to exercising faith, how to exercise faith. We talked about having a hope or a desired outcome, having a firm decision. And we talked about uh, having a firm foundation with the Word of God. Now, the fourth key, the fourth step in exercising faith is to speak the outcome. And that's what Jesus said here in Mark 11, 22 and 23. He said in verse 22, have faith in God or have the faith of God, the faith that comes from God himself. God puts that faith in our heart. And then he says, here's how you use that faith. Verse 23, he says, whoever says to the mountain, so anybody can do this. Anybody who has the faith of God in their heart can do this. It says, you say to the mountain, be removed, be cast in the sea. Don't doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say will come to pass. He said, you will have whatever you say. And he had just demonstrated that by talking to the fig tree and saying, fig tree, be withered. The next day, it was gone. And Jesus is telling us, look, you can do the same thing. You have the God kind of faith. You have the faith that comes from God in your heart then you speak. You speak the outcome. As an example, he said, you tell the mountain to move and it will move. So you speak your outcome. You begin to speak that which you are pursuing by faith. You begin to speak concerning your body. If you are believing God, having faith in God for healing of some incurable disease or a terminal disease or a disease that doctors have given up on you for, look, you speak and say, my body has been healed by the stripes of Jesus. God's power is infinitely greater than the biggest sickness the world has ever known. And God's power will come into effect as you speak your faith. Think about Abraham and Sarah. God demonstrated that in their lives. Abraham's original name was Abraham. It simply meant exalted father. God changed his name and said, from now on you call yourself Abraham, which means father of a multitude. Sarai, means princely and God changed her name from Sarai to Sarah which means mother of princess. So from now on they began to dis declare their outcome with their mouth. Every time they asked Abraham what's your name he said I'm the father of a multitude Abraham. Every, every time they asked somebody asked Sarah what's your name she said Sarah I'm the mother of princess. So they were speaking their outcome every time they gave their name. They were declaring the outcome, the promise that God said would be fulfilled in their lives. So faith speaks the desired outcome. Speak your faith. Jesus taught us to do that. Let's pray. Dear God, we ask that you will help us act on the word, to speak of our faith, to declare what we believe in you for and what your word has built faith in our hearts for. That we will speak and hold on to our confession of faith and not waver on it until we see it fulfilled in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.